I've said this once before in the past, and I'm going to say it again right now. If you are the average Joe looking to get in shape, lose a little bit of fat, put on some muscle so that you could look good on the beach, you do not, and I don't think you should ever, pay $50 to $100 an hour per session with a personal trainer. It's just way too overpriced, okay? The information that these personal trainers will teach you is Googleable. Now, as I said, this is for the average Joe. If you are somebody that wants to compete competitively in bodybuilding, powerlifting, Olympic weightlifting, strongman, um, and you know, you're trying to go for a national, state, provincial, or international record, and you're trying to build up that name, then that $50 to $100 an hour might sound reasonable. But if you're just the average Joe, I would highly, highly discourage you from dishing out that much money. The more appropriate alternative to that, I think, is online coaching. And let me try and break it down as to why I think online coaching is better. Well, the big reason is because it's cheaper. Let me, but let me try and explain why I think um, it's so much cheaper. First of all, if you take a look at traditional personal trainers at gyms, um, just look at that facility. Take a look at any gym that you want to look at. How much money do you think it costs a month to afford to upkeep those 10,000 treadmills that they have in that facility? How much money do you think that they have to pay their staff? You see what I'm trying to say? There's so much overhead costs associated with becoming um, with with a regular gym that the personal trainers at these gyms have to really push those overpriced personal training products. Now, Compare that to an online coach where they operate from home off a computer with Wi-Fi, which is dirt fucking cheap, and uh, they can actually um, train multiple people at once through video conferencing, e conferencing emails, text messages, etc., and then they could uh, show you how to perform the movements via video. There will be lots of cost savings there, and then you can pass those cost savings on to your clients if you are an online personal trainer. I have a very big ethical issue with charging people $50 to $100 per hour for shit that they can Google. Do you guys get that? It's so overpriced. And like the worst part is, is that especially when it comes to fat loss, for muscle and strength building, not so much, but for fat loss, whatever you Google, even if it's the most half-assed researched bullshit method of trying to lose weight, it will still work somewhat to an extent, okay? Even if it's a fad diet like a starvation diet, if you're overweight and you go on a starvation diet, you actually will lose some weight despite the fact... Now, 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 notice what I'm saying. It's not the best way to go about losing weight, but there will still be some results, Okay? regardless of how bullshit the method is. Now, you will probably have to do a lot of experimentation and trying out different things if you decide to go the route of doing it by yourself, but you get to save yourself money. But, or if you would like to uh, try and cut out the guesswork as much as possible, I would highly advise you to either A, dig around and find a really cheap personal trainer that's traditional, or go with an online coach because they will save you money. Anyways, guys, I'm out. Peace.